In this video, we're going to look at how to uh, view your VAT entries. Uh, the purpose of this is to make sure that when you're doing your VAT return, that all of the entries that apply to a particular VAT return are correct. Um, this is something that you should be doing before you submit any VAT return. There are two methods to doing this. The first method and the more simpler method is to search for VAT entries. And this is going to bring you to a VAT entry table. What you can do with this information is export it into Excel by selecting Open in Excel at the top here. What I suggest that you actually do though is filter the closed column to not closed because that, that is then only going to export the open VAT entries which, will, which should, depending on your settings, should be the only ones um, that are actually applied to your VAT return. Uh, if we have a look at what this looks like in Excel, I'll just show you quickly. So in Excel, it's just a table and it just allows you to uh, very quickly spot any large invoices, um, filter the table or put it into a pivot table, for example. The downside with this method is that you can't actually see the detail of the invoice. So if I wanted to actually see what was within this invoice, I couldn't do. Uh, so this brings me on to the second method. So for the second method, you need to search for VAT statements. And this will actually show you what the VAT statement looks like. So you've got your boxes from uh, zero to nine here. These are the ones that actually get submitted to the HMRC. And what you have in this column here is the row totaling. Now this is how these boxes are calculated. So you can see we've got row 20 and 30, row 90 and 100, etc. So if we scroll down, we can actually see these rows, rows. So what you can actually do from here is decipher how the VAT statement is made up. And then from here, if we select process preview, you would put your VAT, you put your um, VAT return date range in here. And depending on again, how you've got your system set up, I would recommend that you have it always set to before and within the period. So if you're doing the previous VAT quarter and you've, po you've back posted anything uh, pre that VAT quarter, then you're actually want, you want to see those transactions as well because you should be reporting that revenue to the HMRC even though it's been back posted. So put your date range filter in here. Uh, for this demo, um, I'm just going to leave this blank just to make sure I've actually got transactions. It's just a, a, a demo system. So if we scroll down now, I'll just minimize this to give us some more room. What you'll see here are is the same um, columns and rows as the previous window, except now we actually have values in here. So you can see that we've got the top uh, nine rows, which are what gets submitted to the HMRC. And then going down, we actually have all of the, how those rows are made up. Now the differences between this section down here is you see these values here, you can actually click on them and, and drill into the data. So if I wanted to look at the value of domestic sales at 20%, you can see that the value is 477 pound 53. If I click here, it's then going to take me through to the VAT entries. You know, we were in the VAT entries table earlier and exported it all. Well, now I can see the VAT entries that just apply to that one particular um, box on the VAT statement. And from here, I can then drill into the document and explore it further. So I'll use the purchases as an example. So I'll go to value of domestic purchases, click on this value here. I can then, let's say, for example, I wanted to this, I'd say this is a high value and I actually want to look at the document. So I, I highlight the line, select navigate in the action bar, and this is going to show me all of the possible ways that I can view information related to this uh, VAT entry. In this particular case, I want to look at the posted purchase invoice. And there I can actually access the invoice directly and see what that particular transaction was related to. Again, if I select another one here, select navigate. Again, I want to look at the purchase invoice. I can see exactly what the invoice is related to. So if I come back out of this page, and I'm back previewing my VAT statement and I can just keep scrolling down until I see, you know, uh, th this is non-vatable, so this won't actually appear on the VAT statement, but let's say I wanted to see a non-VAT purchase, I could open this up, select navigate and look at the purchase invoice. So business rates, for example. 
So that is how your two methods, you can download all of the VAT entries into Excel and then go searching for the documents manually within GarageHive or you can actually view the VAT statement within GarageHive and then preview the entries. Now bear in mind, you can't preview from the top boxes. If I click here, it's, it's not gonna let me drill down because it's actually a calculation. It's not it's not an actual drill down. But if I go down to this section here, and all, it's, it's these lines here, which actually make up these lines here. Here is where I can actually drill in to the information. So I hope that helps. Again, if you want to find this window, you need to search for VAT statements. And if you want to preview it, you need to select process preview. And to repeat the alternative method is to search for VAT entries and you can export all of the entries into Excel for analysis. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, then please let me know. Thank you.